Hello, everyone. Oh, that's what my voice sounds like. I am Connie Wong, also known as DJ Icon, but to my two kids, I'm known as Mommy. I'm going to geek out with you for five minutes about my two passions of design and DJing. I'm going to start off by saying that I have no problem DJing in front of 10,000 people plus. Do it all the time, but I am terrified of public speaking. So I am conquering my fear with you tonight. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> For the past quarter century, I have been at the intersection of design, tech, and music. Uh, I have had a rock star persona of being an internationally known DJ and a Clark Kent persona of being a product designer. And that's me at 16. <laughs> I was at a crossroads uh, early in my career. I was a uh, circus DJ or circus contortionist by night and rave DJ by, uh, by day and by night. <laughs> I chose the DJ path, spoiler alert. Um, I had a similar crossroads in my tech career uh, where I started off as a developer and I transitioned to being a designer and I had to choose. So I uh, decided to hone my craft as a designer. And I apply the same user tensor principles to both of my crafts. It may not be intuitive, but uh, empathy is the common thread between the two because it's the ability to uh, be in tune with people's feelings. And as a product designer, I create delightful ex digital experiences through user interface and user experience. Uh, the average person uses 10 to 20 apps per day, and uh, someone like me designs them. I follow user-centered design principles, which is an iterative process that uh, involves um, qualitative research and um, empathy to be able to understand people's behaviors and feelings. So how many of you have had ex frustrating experiences with apps? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's because they didn't validate with people like you. Uh, and that's what empathy does, is to understand your pain points. I was guilty of this when I designed my first mobile app uh, 10 years ago before I was trained in UX. And it was an app to uh, increase productivity and intimacy between couples. and we just didn't talk to the users to find out they didn't want to share their intimate bedroom moments with us. <laughs> so as a DJ, I curate and navigate uh, auditory experiences on the dance floor through dance music. So many of you have seen me play before. And uh, <laughs> I tell a story through music, through technical and qualitative aspects. And it takes empathy to read the room because it's real-time user testing, every track, every mix, because I can tell if it's hitting or not, and I adjust accordingly. As AI takes over the art and music world, these human touches, like empathy and curation, will be more crucial to preserving the art of DJing. A robot can never replace a human touch. So, the, <laughs> the problem is, how many of you have been to an event where the vibe and the music is just all wrong? Well, that's called self-referential DJing, and I was guilty of this early in my career, too. I was playing trance on vinyl at 140 beats per minute. That doesn't work all the time. So there's a fine line between reading the room and just being a jukebox, because you also have to inject your own personal flavor. Otherwise, you're just a playlist. So that's why I play different music for different crowds, and knowing your audience is important, because with the art of DJing and design, uh, you have to curate and optimize your experience through empathy and human-centered principles. So, uh, <laughs> I play a variety of different sets, and uh, for Burning Man, I would play, you know, anthems that, with big peaks and valleys, but at a club, if I'm opening for a headliner, I'll play more minimal, and then, uh, uh, you know, there's times where I'll play more commercial music, so. It takes many years of experience with trained eyes and ears, both empathy and user tensored approach. You can become a better DJ and designer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you, have, you have 15 seconds to scan this QR code if you want to follow me. So thank you for listening, and I hope you found what I found said interesting. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you.